Hey friends, the conversation today is going to be some secrets I'm going to reveal around the fifth line process. So stick with me and let's play this game. Friends, I over the last two years, as the world is going through this very mm, uncomfortable shift, we're watching the the old energy start to break down, start to falter, and some new energy starting to come in. This is really what this transition period is all about. And transitions are uncomfortable. It's like, I see them as an hourglass, you know, we have this wider area and then we narrow down and everybody's getting squished and compressed and contracted because that's what the 41st gate does. And then we move back up and open up. Okay. So in this period, I have had an extraordinary amount of fifth line heretics bump into my work because they are so deeply fearful of being lynched in the town square if they talk about the message that they know in their cells is going to save humanity. And yet they are very, very scared of it. So let's just do a quick breakdown of of the hexagram so that you can understand what the fifth line process really is designed for. And then we'll lean a little deeper into how to alleviate some of this quote unquote pain or discomfort that is happening in your process. So if you have a five in the, the personality is really where I'm leaning into. However, if you have it in your design, you're gonna also notice this as well. The the hexagram structure is this. We have our first line and that first line investigates everything. It needs to have that solid foundation, right? It's constantly, you know, trying to um, create this base so that everybody can can work through what they need to work through. But it's that first line energy. Then we have our second line. Well, they're very discerning. They're here to naturally uh, be you know, called upon for their natural abilities. Here is a part of the, you know, the immune system that they're they're waiting for the unexpected. That's what the immune system does. It's waiting for the unexpected. And when the unexpected comes, it's that call. Are you going to, you know, are you going to shine or are you going to stay hidden? Are you going to hermit? Okay. Then the third line process. Well, this, I know this so well in my life. Um, The third line process is all about trial and error. And what we are designed to do as third lines is what's not working? What isn't working? And to break bonds with, maybe it's a concept. Maybe it's, you know, for example, my office, because my third line is in my design. I, I literally have to walk away from the um my office and break bonds with my office at times so it's that breaking of the bond and what we're doing is we are really challenging that first line which i also know very much is that solid foundation actually solid so we're constantly as a third line trying to poke at that first line. Is it solid? Because we are, you know, the lower hexagram is is creating this space where now we can go out into the world and externalize this. That's what the fourth line does. The fourth line externalizes what has gone on in that lower trigram. So now as we verbalize and articulate and externalize the energy field, what we know, what's been investigated, Now we're bringing this out into our network and who's around you is so important because they are the ones that you can influence. And now we get to these beautiful fifth lines, the whole point of this conversation. So fifth lines have this beautiful way of taking all the information from the hexagram one to four, and now it's to make it a universal concept, a universal um, idea to, to quote unquote, universalize it means that it's seeping into 
the energy field of so many around. And that message that's brought out is, is really the, the completion of the hexagram. That's what the fifth line is all designed for. It's the completion of the hexagram. And they can get very seductive. They need to seduce because the message is so powerful. And it know, they know, they know it can save people. But, but very similar to the projector energy. Okay, I'm going to add that in here. Not everyone wants to invite the message in. Not everyone wants to participate in this beautiful message that's moving forward. And if, if it is going against the narrative, which 98% of the time it's going to as a heretic, you're going to go against the narrative. There's a fear, deep fear of being lynched in the town square. So one of the things that Ra, and these are words that I hear him so deeply say, I feel when I listen to his his transmissions, I feel as though I'm right there in his classroom, listening, being right there in the cellular structure. One of the things he said was he used to get very annoyed and irritated and angry, cranky about all the expectations his students had for him. And it wasn't until he started to pull back and witness. So this is the secret. Pull back and witness what are all the expectations that people are saying or thinking that you can solve for them. In the business world, this fifth line energy, you guys have your marketing research right there in front of you because people are telling you what they expect. Now, do you have to deliver everything that everybody expects? No, of course not. However, you're going to notice that there's a theme there. There's a theme in all these expectations. What are they expecting? And through that, you now have your entire marketing scheme laid out because they're right there telling you how you can save them what solution they require. So as a fifth line, if you have the capacity to pull back and then just witness, what is it that people are, you know, expecting of you, trying to pull out of you? So now what you get to do is you get to tweak your messages so that you actually deliver what they need not what they want. It's your job to go deeper into that need than is just sitting on top and just, you know, giving them what they want and feeling like you're selling your soul. And now you might go, well, Leanne, now what is the sixth line all about? Well, the sixth line is the transitionary period. So if you go to the, the fifth line of, of every hexagram, this is what the, the expression of the hexagram is. It's the universalization of each hexagram. And the six is all about this transitionary space where it's, it's looking towards the next gate in the mandala. So grab the mandala and look. It's looking towards that next gate. And it's this quote unquote space between the notes. It is the area where The aloofness, the, the rule model energy is not, is not like getting, quote, getting its hands dirty type thing. It is here to be this space where we can, can walk through to the next solid foundation. It feels very esoteric because it, I think it is. I think the six lines are like the most magical creatures because of their process. 
But if the heretics aren't universalizing the message, they're not getting it out there. If they not, if they're not selfless in that movement forward and sharing what it is that needs to be shared and is being pulled out of them, then there can't be this transitionary space because now it's not universalized. So what I love is that, you know, design worked through raw. And as a 5-1, he was able to universalize the, the energy of human design. And for myself, I've been in this practice for 11 years. Been in this experiment, helping clients, you know, playing in their energy field. And the more human design spreads out into humanity, the easier it is to absorb. So when I first started human design, the the ease of absorption wasn't as profound as it is now. When I connect with people, it is amazing to me how well advanced they are compared to when I started 11 years ago helping clientele. So the, the fifth line, your process is so important because now your message and the transmission of your message will really, truly take humanity to the next level. You know, this attractiveness and the seduction. So your minds are attractive. Your bodies, if you have it in, in the design side, are very seductive and attractive. I watch three fives on Instagram and Instagram is littered, quite literally littered with three fives. Why? Because they can use their bodies and seduce people all day long on Instagram. They can seduce them with, you know, the material plane. They can seduce them with their bodies. They can seduce them with their workouts, all of that. And it's not bad. It's just what it is. And as a fifth line, it's it's your decision and choice to be disciplined in the distribution of, the, of your message or are you hoarding it because you're fearful of being lynched? Now, I'm not saying that in this day and age, that's not possible to be, you know, hung in town square for your message because clearly it's happening. However, this is what you were designed for. Now, do I want you to go out there and, you know, be physically harmed? Not a chance. But I do want you to fulfill your purpose and play your role as a heretic, as a messenger, so that we can get the message out that we don't have to operate the way we've been operating for the last 400 years. We can, you know, rebel against the, the corruption. We can rebel against the conformity. So if you're a fifth line, know that your role is to universalize, get to the space where the message of the hexagram can be shared so that the next phase of us stepping in and being role models is available to us. So if expectations are holding you back, if expectations are holding you back, pull out, take yourself to that 30,000 foot view and just look out. What are the expectations? What are people really needing? How can you universalize the thread of your message so that you can get to the masses? That's what a fifth line does. It's not about your network. It's about all those new people out there that require you. But it's for you to pull out, to pull out of the 
the contraction that we're in right now and step into the energy field of providing that message so that we can all move into 2027 in the six line phase that truly, you know, there's trust and objectivity and optimism and this capacity to be role models. That's where we're moving. And we need your energy to be on on point with that so the universalization can happen. All right, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Also, I just want to remind you that I do have a home study course that I brought out. This has been a labor of love for the last four or five years. And there is a ton of material in there. It's a 30-year science that I've compiled down for you from all the classes that I've taken right into the business aspect in the, and the BG5 Business Institute. I brought you the differentiation degree. So much information in there. And the clients that are in there right now are sending emails constantly about how they really appreciate the linear approach and the absorption of the material because it's working through their cellular structure. So I set it up so that whether you're a health coach, relationship coach, or a business coach, there's sections in there for that material. Or maybe you're a family coach or a uh, ch child's coach. So I set that all up so that you can get the basics. And then, you know, depending on your specialty, you can drop in and lean in. So I have examples, um, I show you how to use uh, software, and really it's just a fun space to be in. So if you wanna drop in, the link is down below and uh, you can, can grab all that material and start your way into knowing and universalizing and really stepping into being the role model in your business and in your life and in your family. All right, friends, take care.